Hey everybody, Ann here, sitting in front of the chickens, drinking my coffee with all of you, and today I feel like mowing. First, I gotta check the eggs. Aww, how cute. We've only got one brown egg left, and I think it's the last one. The girls are hollering at you, they wanna go out and play. Come on, girl, give us an egg. Well, Miss Pris, I already know you laid your egg because yours are super small and pale right now. I guess you were just back to the flock, aren't you? You pretty chicken. You pretty chicken. You are a meanie. And so are you. And so are you, for that matter. But Coco is precious and beautiful. Finally, six eggs. Whew. It's about time, Roxy. If you look at these eggs, of course, the white ones are from the Leghorns. This one is from Miss Pris. It's smaller and paler. And this is from uh, Roxy. I could tell because it's still warm. And it is slightly more pale and smaller. But usually, the black Asians lay eggs that are about this color. Let's see if I can get it out in the sunshine. <laughs> Walk it over here. Pretty nice brown egg, and they're pretty big. So Miss Pris has just started laying her eggs again. I'm sure her eggs will get bigger as time goes by. And now it's time for me to review this little Scott's push mower. Oh yes, this sure does bring back memories. I think these were one of the first lawnmowers that my dad had as a little girl. I used to try and push it around myself. And yeah, so I'm gonna give it a try today. Look at that, ain't it gorgeous? Yup, I'll put it together all by myself. I'm gonna tell you a trick to it in a little bit here, but all right, well, wish me luck. Putting it together is pretty easy. All you gotta do is take this bolt here, it fits right in, take it through the two handles. There's a washer and then there's a little twisty thing. You got another one down here. Now, I didn't read the instructions, I just kind of put it together. But one trick I found is keeping these kind of loose, both of them until you put these on because it's really hard to get them bent and over these little pegs see those um, these are just some little brackets that they give you to shove down on top of there and to keep this from coming out but it, it holds pretty tight but if you if you tighten these up too much it's gonna be really impossible to get them both in there so that's all you have to do and yes don't try and put these on just put them on, just get some soapy water, stick it in there. It lubricates it and it makes it super easy to go on. All right, let's give it a try. Let's just start with this area around the rocket stove. I will just kind of mow over this and see how well it does it. That, it might be kind of tight. I'll just have to take that out by hand. But I just want to kind of see how it does on this weird kind of tallish grass. Yeah, so let's give it a try. <music> down the certain kinds of grass but you can see it left a few of these and that's just because they're really strong grass and they're really long I could probably lower this blade a little bit and get them but it got most of it and for my purposes this is absolutely just fine so I'm gonna go and see how it does against this kind of grass in this area you know just see if it'll mow that down Got my mower set on the highest thing just because I know that a lot of this grass is pretty tall but like I said this stuff it's hard to get it down so I'm gonna have to lower that lawnmower 
but it cuts sufficiently for my needs. Um, I just don't want things to get, you know, knee high, if you know what I mean. And there are some of my lawn that I don't want to cut down to the ground, like these clover and whatnot. I want them to grow nicely, and they will. So, what I'm going to do is I'll go over this again just to get some of the higher stuff up. But it wasn't too hard to push at all, and it does cut the grass. Oops, missed a spot. job seriously I think that this is gonna work out for certain areas now if you look at my property it's a downward slope <laughs> and there's like little ridges and whatnot and there's rocks and stones and sticks all over the place so that's something you gotta keep in mind with that um, and with one of these little mowers it's almost like I don't know vacuuming you don't want to do it you don't feel like doing it but once you start you just can't stop it's so much fun and in most of those clips, I was holding the camera with one hand and pushing with my non-dominant hand. And I was able to do that, so it's not a hard mower to push. It's just going to take more time and effort. And see, I missed a few spots. But I think what I'm going to do is just mow everything down at the high level. Then take the blade down closer to the ground and mow it again. The main thing is I just don't want things, you know, knee high with the weeds. I want to preserve some of my weeds because I eat them. <laughs> like this one over here. Yep. I'm going to eat that right now. Mm. And, uh, you know, I don't want to keep it like scorched earth bare down to the ground. So that little mower is going to work out just fine for me. Do I recommend this Scott's little push mower? Yep, I do. For people who are like me. Now, I've got a big property, so of course I won't be able to mow the entire, you know, grassy area with that little lawnmower. But for people who have little spots that they need to get in and out of and around, smaller lawns, this is a perfect solution because it doesn't take gas, it doesn't take electricity, it just takes human power. And that's a good thing in this day and age. So, yeah, I, I definitely recommend it, but not if you're wanting to use it to mow two and a half acres like what I got. All right, I'm just taking a break in the shade, having a cold beverage. I'm probably gonna go out and mow some more. And then I gotta water some plants, but oh, look at, yeah, they're back over by the hill. Huh, this press must be in the yard. No, no, don't do it, Leghorn. Don't do it, Leghorn. Don't do it. You know what, this is completely ineffective because they will go into the woods all the way down there. So I am gonna be taking that all of that netting down because of the simple fact it's just not doing anything until I have enough fencing to do it all it's just not gonna work at all so I'm gonna be repurposing all of this uh, little chicken wire up there and use it for something else yep it's the only way to get them back this purse is in the yard I don't know why she's there come on chickens there you are reunited at last yeah I'll give you some treats I'll give you some treats there you go just don't go up over the hill. Thanks for watching, everybody. That's all I got for you. See you in the next video.
thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.